Bruce, so we got a we got a papillary thyroid cancer inside the thyroid. We've got an anaplastic that's BRAF positive in a lymph node. Um, and all of this data now about BRAF and MEK inhibitors and who goes first in surgery. How would you be thinking about this case, Bruce? Well, I mean, I think anytime you have an anaplastic cancer, um, you have to, con you have to, with the, uh, that's BRAF positive, you have to, you know, at least consider whether or not surgery should be first, uh, or if you should start treatment with dibrapenib and, and trimetinib, because I think we, we, we know over the last couple of years, uh, the great responses we see with, you know, the drugs with or without immunotherapy. Um, so I think it's always a consideration. I think part of it, just like with any anaplastic cancer, um, it also depends on resectability, you know, at the time of at, at diagnosis, whether or not it's really, uh, do, do you really need to start, you know, treatment, you know, medical treatment or go ahead with surgery first. So I think if it's resectable um, and, you know, doesn't involve any major structures or vessels, then it's reasonable to do upfront surgery. But if you think you're going to, we know we can get, you know, with so many patients, we, we get so much benefit from initiating treatment first. So it's always, I think it should always be discussed. Um, and it's between, you know, the, the whole team has to make a decision where, where to go first. I think it's, you know, it, this patient, I think definitely has uh, treatment from me coming. 